are back with more of Real Estate Update. James Wedgworth. Okay, here we go. I love to pull out these little facts for you to respond to. A Gallup survey, again, according to News Nation, 76% of people say this is a bad time to buy a home. Why did they say that? I think I know. I know. Well, they, they said it because they, the prices are higher, the insurance costs are more, and the mortgage rates, even though they kept talking about them going down, they did So they're saying that because those factors cost them more. Yeah. Now, so. the other uh, term that I learned, which you are already familiar with, as far as inventory being impacted by the lock-in effect where owners are reluctant to sell because they're locked into okay. a mortgage rate. That's good. Let me, yeah, I hear that. There's not a day that goes by <laughs> that somebody doesn't yeah. talk to me about this. What's going on if you got a 2.875 interest rate? Yeah. And let's just say you're, um, we get this in younger families. I had a guy call me the other day and said we just had our third child. We're living in about a 1,700 square foot house. Wow. We need a bigger house. Right. So I took him out and showed him some 25, 2,600 square foot houses, and he started figuring his mortgage rate, what it's going to cost him. He said, I can't do this. Oh because I'm locked in right. at less than 3%, and you're telling me I'm going to have to pay 6.5%. Yep. So he said, we can't move forward. We need the space, but our mortgage rate will triple oh. than what it is now because we're paying more, and the rate is substantially higher. So what those people tend to do is they just stay where they are. Because well, they got locked into a great rate. Weren't they up to like seven something percent or eight percent? Then yeah. they dipped down below seven. I don't know where we're, we're in yeah. June now, folks. If you're watching yeah. in July or whatever, yeah. where are we at around now? Seven, six point nine. There's some that? sevens there. Yeah. There are a lot of different options. You do yeah. fifteen year, thirty year. Right. You can do a one year that is just right. A lot of different options out there. Yeah. You can buy the rate down. There are a lot of things you can do, but this is an issue that we have not dealt with and. Mm. Ten years. Yeah, and I mean, the Fed rates. is expected. The Fed's expected to write lower interest rates two more times, three more times this year. Will that? What, well, what do you, here's the problem: they lower, lowered a quarter percent, which yeah. it isn't will, as much as they used or yeah. we've seen in the historically. Yeah. Traditionally, yeah. rates go up a quarter percent, right? And they go down a quarter percent of time. Now, the exception was in May of '23 when inflation got out of yeah. hand. Yeah. When they just woke up one day and said, "Okay, interest rates are six percent," mm -hmm. people said, "Wait, wait, I was paying two eight seven five. Wow! So that does affect the market. Mm -hmm. Even though a lot of people here pay cash, a lot of those people that pay cash, they take a mortgage on their home sure. in New Jersey. Yeah, or yeah. Whatever. So they're still borrowing from somewhere yeah, or some paying source. interest to someone yeah. or somehow yeah. just getting the cash to give yeah. on. Mm -hmm. um, all right. So would you try to convince someone? Well, what do you say when somebody says, the guy just says, I can't do it, so that's the end of you it? You just wait. Okay. You yeah. wait until he makes more money, maybe he gets a raise. You wait until... I'm not laughing. I just think, I mean, it, there's nothing you can do. I don't even know why I asked, but yeah, I mean, there, you, yeah, you, you yeah, can't. You, you, there's only a certain amount you right, can pay. Right, right. You just stay where you are and... And do Tough you hear out. something? Because I know you really maintain good contact with people you've worked with or will work with. Someone like that. Do you still keep in touch? Of course. And you'll send Some people will just say, oh, it was a waste of my afternoon I know, I know, and so long, farewell. But you well, don't do that's that. that's the way most real well, I'm not going to say it. A lot of realtors do it that way. But our goal, our goal is to help them reach their goal. So we know what they're looking for. We see a house that maybe worked right, for them. Right, we'll, right. Because right now they don't have a lot of options no. as we went over. Right. You know, depending on their price right. range. So if something comes on the market, we'll tell them. You know, we'll keep doing yeah, that. Sure. Yeah. But I mean, you, you, not all realtors, once they're done with the sale, either if they're representing the buyer or seller, maintain connection. And then, you know, well, you you've told busy. me this before, but you are good at that. And that is important. Well, I try, but you get I busy. mean, flattery, I'm not trying to flatter oh, you, but yeah. I mean, you do maintain, you know, communication mm -hmm. with people. Try to, yeah. Yeah. You and get that busy. pays off in the end anyway. That does in the long run, yeah. They yeah. remember you and, yeah. you know. There's some national numbers on that, but we can go in that later well, when we... Okay, we will. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, any predictions? We're in June now. I mean, are you feeling okay about the summer months? I'm, and... I'm still feeling strong. Okay, would you list the house now? Yes, yes. You would. Traditionally, uh, I've been here 42 years, so I've been through four 
let's see, what's that, 10 presidential elections. Yep. Normally, right before a presidential election, the market goes into a little stall sure. about 30 days out, and everybody says, whether it's party A or party B, they say, well, I'm going to wait until the elections and see what happens. Okay. And I'll make a decision then. So that could well, happen. We kind of expect that. Yep. Well, um, you've told me that before, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's, it's just, and we're going ahead in that direction. Right now, they're not thinking about it. No. Come but October, sure. they will be sure. thinking about we're it. We're already so. out of time. But oh, I want to no. mention to people, we're going to do another program on you looking back over your 40 years, how things have changed. Oh, my gosh. Which is going to be really interesting. I'm thanks. looking forward to that. Yeah, thanks so much, James Wedgworth. It's always a pleasure. Great to see you. And thank you for watching this edition of Real Estate Update.